I'm going to address an issue that should have been addressed a long time ago. Here in Morocco, a lot of animals die by the side of the road and the vets will not euthanize that animal if they're in pain and need to be euthanized because unless they can be buried, there is always the risk that other animals will come along and, and, and attack the body and be, in turn be poisoned themselves. We understand that. However, you are aware that over the last few days that we have traveled both as far north as Rabat, as far south as Agadir, and we've had donkeys brought in from even further south. And we always do our best. I, I had a message um, that there was a horse in Agadir that had been in a road traffic accident. It had two broken legs. It was by the side of the road. There is no way that we could get transport down there. And in any event, with two broken legs, the absolute logic is in a large horse, it would have to be euthanized. I have a very good friend in, in Geneva who has an attachment here, is Moroccan, and has done her very best. She, she has links with the royal household here. Um, she doesn't make anything of that, but she's obviously quite well connected and she has done her best to try and get some mercy to this animal. We now understand it has been moved from the side of the road out in the countryside and it is covered with thorn and left to die. Now, who, what is wrong with a veterinary system that will not put an animal such as that out of its misery? And we, we have an excellent vet here. I, I know that um, Sally in Tangier has an excellent vet. There are good vets who work with us and I couldn't speak more highly of my vet, but he hasn't time or he hasn't the facilities to go down to Agadir. Agadir is a long way away from Marrakesh. There are lots of vets in Agadir. Why on earth can't something be done? And I, I think we've reached a stage where we can't just be blaming Moroccans on the ground because we have asked them to try and arrange for veterinary care and we would pay for it. We're not asking them to do something for nothing. But I think there has to be some challenge to how veterinary services operate in this country. I think some of us have believed for a long time that we would like the opportunity to bring vets in from abroad who could help us with sterilization and, and other procedures. But under the laws in this country at the moment, you can only work and practice in Morocco if you're a Moroccan vet. So what can we do? Have you any suggestions? I have one. I wonder if we shouldn't seek out international veterinary associations. This can't go on. We can't let animals suffer in this way. I'm up for it. How does everybody else feel?